Electro, behave yourself. Quiet, please. They have fascinated us for decades, entertained us, and even terrified us. Today, robots are increasingly stepping out of the realm of fiction and making new inroads in the workplace, driven by faster, cheaper, and more sophisticated computing. And this expressive robot is helping lead the charge. This is the new face of manufacturing. Meet Baxter. Now, automation is nothing new on factory floors, but Baxter is built to be working side by side with humans. Baxter, developed by Boston-based Rethink Robotics, doesn't eat, sleep, or talk back to the boss as he performs his repetitive tasks. But Baxter does, in his own way, communicate. Alert and serene when working hard, and worried when anticipating manufacturing problems. This is a way for people to be more productive because they don't have to do those really repetitive things. And any person is much more dexterous than any robot. So we can have people doing the dexterous stuff, but multiply the workforce by having robots in there with the people. Baxter, based in Boston, made its debut recently in 2012. But further south in Pittsburgh, robots have been in the market for years. In this vast grocery warehouse, robots made by Secret chug calmly through the bustling chaos, helping workers restock shelves. And tug robots are used to transport food, medications, and linen through hospitals like the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. The tug robots may not look that sophisticated, but an array of ultrasound, infrared, and lasers mean it can navigate the hospital on its own, making its way up and down hallways and into elevators. In fact, the tug is filming me right now. The goal is to complement workers, not replace them. They can't touch a patient. They can't help a patient. They have no human touch. They are just merely there to do the non-value-added stuff. That's why I'm here. But many fear trouble to come. A recent study by Oxford University says nearly 50% of current U.S. jobs are in danger from automation. We live in a capitalist society which basically says that the more efficient you can do something, the more uh, money you can make from it. And these companies are basically making money from replacing human jobs. It has a full suspension. That view is not shared by all. Robotics pioneers like Carnegie Mellon's Red Whitaker see only benefits from automation. There is a concern that robots are going to take people's jobs. The robots of my own experience have uh, created great wealth, created many jobs, and to my knowledge, haven't taken any. Oh, like, like not so smooth. Yeah. You needed to go up and over. Yeah. That's it. I was trying to, okay. There you go. My close encounter with Baxter showed that humans and robots can get along famously for now. Beautiful. But for some, the rise of the robots could lead to a sea change in society that we haven't even begun to anticipate. Maggie Lake, CNN, Boston.